everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Right, don't mind me while I just sit here and stick a load of makeup on my face. It is about 20 to 2. Um, I'm checking out of the hotel at 2 p.m. So I'm in a little bit of a rush. I got carried away trying to edit my video because I wanted, ideally I wanted to edit it this morning and upload it while I'm in the room so that I'm not sitting downstairs in reception with my headphones on. Just because I've traveled so light, I don't have anywhere to put my laptop. I have to literally carry it in my hand. And it's a bit of a fancy hotel. You know, people sit there for afternoon tea and here's me with my laptop and headphones. To be fair, I might go down to the cafe just to edit but I know that I'll probably have to come back here to upload it. I don't know what their Wi-Fi is like in the cafe, but um, the Wi-Fi in this hotel is incredible. It's just like my Wi-Fi at home. It's so good. It uploads videos really, really quickly, so I was very impressed with that. I woke up again this morning at 7am to have breakfast with Jas. Then I had my post-breakfast nap. Um, I should also point out that I don't do this at home, by the way. Obviously, like, who has time for that? I generally don't like napping during the day because I feel like it just makes me feel even worse. But there's just something about a hotel room and a bed so inviting. And I just, oh, I just love staying in hotels so much. The beds are just so comfy and the pillows are, like, so fluffy but squishy and just the right amount of like I don't know they're just great so <laughs> yeah I just fell asleep in fact I think the reason that I do this is because I'm such a night owl so often at home I will go to bed later than Jas and he's a morning person I don't do mornings at all and I find that I work better in the evenings and so often I will stay up late working and he's just like no do it in the morning and I can't think of anything worse but obviously while I'm here, like I said before, this isn't really a traditional holiday. And so I'm just sort of tagging along with Jas's work trip. And I'll find that obviously he's been out all day, so he'll be at work. And it's about 30 to 40 minutes on the Luas for him to get back to the hotel from work. So by the time he does that and then he gets changed, then we go out for dinner, we sort of wander around for a bit, um, maybe go to a few shops and stuff like that we get back to the hotel and he is just shattered like of course he's shattered like he's been at work all day and he's probably still catching up from his lack of sleep on monday when he flew out here and so obviously it's fine for me i can sleep whenever or do whatever so i just find that when we get back to the hotel he's ready to knock out whereas i'm like oh let me just reply to this email let me just try and edit this video or import today's footage you know and then i end up staying up late and it's just not great because then I know I'm going to force myself to wake up at seven to have breakfast with him. Because obviously, like, what's the point of me being here if I'm not going to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning and have breakfast with him? He might as well just be here on his own. Um, and I'd never see him otherwise. If that makes any kind of sense, that is a reason for my post-breakfast naps. But today I wanted to sleep a little bit longer, which of course didn't happen because we have quite a late flight. You know you're in a rush and your eyebrows always go wrong. But yeah, our flight tonight is at 9pm, which is good and bad. It's a bit of a miserable day in Dublin. I don't know what we're going to do. And I think Jess finishes work a little bit earlier today, which is great. Because everyone from the UK or wherever flies home on a Thursday. And generally, like no one goes with Ryanair. They go with like proper airlines. So I think all of his colleagues sort of fly home at about 5pm. He does too normally when I'm not here, <laughs> ruining his life, so that he's home for a decent hour. But because we're with Ryan Air, so yeah, he obviously couldn't take the earlier flight, which I think was about three o'clock in the afternoon, because he'd have to leave the office at like midday, and that's ridiculous. Woohoo! Okay, Jas has just messaged me saying he's leaving work at 3.30, so it is, like I said, coming up to 2 p.m. I'm gonna really quickly do my hair, and I think what I'll do is I'll go downstairs and check out. I will leave my luggage with the reception downstairs and then i'm gonna go to pog cafe i'm just gonna grab some something to eat and i know i love that place and i've been there like every single day this week it's not just because it's so instagrammable i mean obviously it is but their food is so good i'll admit their coffee isn't that great um which is a bit of a shame because i could really do with a coffee right now but their food's really nice and the vibe in there is really cool and the lady in there's really friendly like she sometimes chats to me and i also kind of feel like it's one of these places a bit like starbucks where i don't actually mind sitting on my own. Yesterday, when I was sat there working after Jas left, I sort of looked up after a little while and there was literally 10 other women 
all sat there on their laptops on their own so it's just one of those places where everyone just sort of sits on their own and works and i thought that was really cool so i think i'm gonna go there and it will probably take me at least an hour to edit this goddamn video like and then i'll meet him back at the hotel right so i'm all packed up and about three minutes late but whatever i thought i'd show you my jumper because i absolutely love it i picked it up in asda last week i think in leicester it's actually a jumper dress and so normally i would have sized up a little bit but this is actually okay and i have leggings and my usual black trainers and yeah i just love it like how nice is this jumper the little pearls make it look so much more expensive than it really is and it does have a little bit of a turtleneck thing going on but it's not too unflattering so i quite like it and of course i have my usual pink coat so yeah i'm ready to leave goodbye hotel room i will miss you i won't miss how dark you were but oh sad times i hate checking out of hotels anyway better go gonna be late <laughs> so i've just come back from a pub because it closed at four o'clock it's quarter past four josh should be here any minute and i'm just sat in the hotel lobby but the actual hotel lobby bit was full but this extension part of it in between the lobby and the restaurant i don't know if i'm allowed to sit here with my laptop to be honest because the waiter keeps following around and like offering to um give me a menu and like drinks and stuff like that and i don't want any of that it seems a bit mushy but let me just show you because it is really beautiful in here so like i said um our hotel lobby is through that way here's a christmas tree this is like the extension part and that's the restaurant through there it's very beautifully lit and there's a bar through there as well and he's back i've literally done nothing today oh my god we literally have like an hour before we have to leave for the airport yep sure is i've done absolutely nothing today apart from edit my video which took forever and i've scheduled it finally but what are we going to do now we're going to get some to eat but we're not that hungry yeah like i'm well i don't want to eat i want to get a coffee okay let's well, have some hot chocolate from the hotel yeah our hotel had free cheese coffees and hot chocolate and the one day i actually wanted a coffee they don't do it today <laughs> no they're busy <laughs> making it the hot chocolate is freshly made it was yeah, but they weren't making the coffees. Anyway, we're walking down towards Trinity. I know there's a Starbucks there, a few shops, might just have a little mooch, and then come back and leave. It's no funny that you always seem to get your bearings like on the last day. I've just found O'Connell Bridge, which is so close to our hotel, we'd have to cross, and we're on Lower O'Connell Street, and that's where um, Hickey's Pharmacy is, where I want to go to look for some blank canvas cosmetics. Look. I don't have blank canvas here, it's so annoying. Oh my god, yesterday when I was sheltering from the rain, I thought there was a Christmas market in this building. <laughs> it's actually the general post office. It's not really a Christmas market, but let me show you. They've got loads of Christmas displays which you can see from the windows. That's why I thought there was a Christmas market. <laughs> I've just come over here for no reason. <laughs> You can post letters to Santa here. What, like actual Santa? Yeah, I think so. No. What doing? What oh, yeah, look. Do? Santa letters only. Yeah, hilarious. That is so cool. Yeah, basically, from the outside, I thought this was a Christmas market because these are all the windows behind here. But actually, it's just their main general post office, which is just great. <laughs> Take two. Apparently this pharmacy sells blank canvas cosmetics. Let's go and have a look. Lol. <laughs> so they have a very tiny selection of brushes and the palette that I have, the Pippa palette. It's so funny because I used to follow like all these Irish bloggers on Snapchat. I remember her, Lisa Jordan. That makeup bag's supposed to be really cool. They haven't got much though. It's a bit of a shame. Oh my god, I used to follow Marissa Carter as well. She's the owner of Paper Brown Town. What happened to all these people that used to be on Snapchat? I had no idea she had a makeup line out. We've just come back to the hotel to pick up our luggage and we're checking out. It's so busy here today. I think loads of people have got Christmas parties and like things going on because there's so many people checking in like all day. The temperature has completely dropped in Dublin today and I hear it's supposed to snow here and at home over the weekend, which is just oh, 
awful like i hope it doesn't snow it's so cold i cannot even feel my fingers we had a 15 20 minute walk back from o'connell street and i literally cannot feel my fingers i've got my warmest jumper on i've got two vest tops on my big coat my big scarf and i'm still freezing I don't think i showed you our hotel lobby but this is it Just checked into the airport and I'm so tired. I wish I'd taken my makeup off um, at some point before I got here because now it is in the suitcase. It's all checked in. We're sitting here having a Starbucks. I'm also charging my phone. I've just pulled this tip. Oh god. I was charging my phone. It's very loose with the uh, USB. But Starbucks are now closing and I think the upstairs part might be open. This airport's actually a lot bigger than what I remember it to be. But look at what Jas just got me in star. Obviously got my coffee. By the way, I still haven't started reading this, so don't judge me, but you know, I'm holding it in my hand because it won't fit in my bag in the hope that I actually start it on the plane. You guys know I'm gonna fall asleep as soon as like the plane takes off. But anyway, look at this. I got a salted caramel Christmas tree. I fancied a sweet treat. Also, I did a little bit of shopping at GT3. Very tiny bit of shopping. In fact, I think I'm gonna give it to her before this vlog goes live anyway. You want the bungee? Yeah. So, basically, Anusha and I are obsessed with the Irish accent and we love to look at the Irish. And I have been wandering around Dublin for the past three days, popping into every single gift shop and card shop to try and find a bloody card or a postcard that says, the luck of the Irish. And I finally found it at the airport. I had to get a magnet. They also had a spoon, like a display type spoon. And they had a Christmas tree decoration, but I was like, just get her a magnet and it says wherever you go whatever you do may the luck of the irish be there with you i thought that was really cute so yeah that's her little present because she got me a present when she went to sicily on a school trip she got me a little cookie shaped usb oh, yeah. uh, mug, mug, mug warmer, warmer that you plug into your laptop because which she knows good. i always have a coffee which is the perfect gift for me really and I, actually, I have used it <laughs> and it sits right by my laptop on the dining table at home so well, that's not the reason I got her the present. I think you can actually use that as a hand warmer as well. It's like it gets warm, so you can probably put anything on it. Yeah. Keep anything warm on it. I just that warm. Anyway, I'm just going to sit here. I think Starbucks is closing, but I'm dying for a coffee. We're so early for our flight. We left really early, actually, because mm. there's so much traffic in Dublin at the moment, and every single taxi driver that was just parked outside our hotel was like, wherever you're going, just leave early. Like, there's just loads of traffic. And just colleagues are the same thing to him. So we left early. Now we're here far too early, which is fine. I like a nice, relaxed time at the airport, which basically never happens. Have they even announced our gate yet? Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go have my coffee. Ciao. Thanks for my little Christmas tree, Jess. Are you gonna have some? Yep, I definitely want some. Do you like coming to Dublin for work? It's alright, it's different. It's like any old day, you know, any other day. It's like being in London, really, but... but aren't people just so much nicer here? Yeah, yeah, so really much nicer. That's, that's a big, massive difference. They're, they're busy. Like, Dublin's a busy place, but they're friendly as well. They talk to you. Not like grumpy old people in the underground, like, look like maybe someone's passed away or something. Like, <laughs> okay, well, you know what I mean? Like, in, seriously, I mean, that's what London is like. They just don't want to... I've always said this, though. Like, Irish people are just so nice. Irish people, Thai people. And who else was it? Oh, Canadians recently. <laughs> Canadians are friendly too. Yeah, Canadians are very friendly. And so are the Irish. Okay, Nish, ready for your first bite of the Christmas tree? I am indeed. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. Did you like that bite or not? You're still chewing it. Thumbs up, yeah? Like, why is crispy cakes, but not too much chocolate? Okay. okay. Well, I need to try some as well then. Thanks. Oh my god, our flight is delayed by like an hour, so I think I'm just going to sit here and start editing my video, because that's all I've done today is edit. And that is all my life is during the vlogmas. I actually found a seat next to a table in this cafe, which is quite good, because I hate like having my laptop on my lap and hunching over and trying to edit. Um, I only have 40% battery left, and I put my charger in my suitcase which I checked in, because it's just really heavy. So, I don't know how far I'll get with 40% battery, but let's see. 
let's make a start at least because I've got a busy day tomorrow as well. Story of my life, isn't it? Yep. So they announced that our flight is boarding soon and of course everyone just queues up. Why do people do this? So weird. Oh my god, it's quarter past one in the morning. My ears are still popping. We've just got home from the airport, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. God, we've got so many letters. Loads of missed parcel notes as well. Anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm so tired. I mean, to take my makeup off, go to bed and leave the house in a mess like it is. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for day whatever it is. <laughs> Bye.